As it says, is it feel weird to come back here uh, as an Olympian now? Uh, yeah, a little bit, because I was just kind of practicing by myself, you know, just out there by my own business now. It's kind of like a little shift, but it's a good thing. So it brings a lot of attention to, like, the track and field program, too. How crazy has life been since uh, last week? <laughs> um, a little bit overwhelming. My phone hasn't stopped ringing. Uh, I'm getting a lot of interviews, like, from you guys, but it's all good. Um, my parents, I think, are going to get interviewed, which is going to be strange for them, since they've never been interviewed before, but, yeah, it's fun. Have you had a moment that it's hit you since you've uh, qualified for the Olympics that you really, I mean, that you are going to the Olympics? Uh, I think after I did the team processing, which took like two hours. But uh, yeah, once I like signed my life away, basically saying I won't do anything stupid or stuff like that and getting the uniform, that was when it actually hit me. Felicia, when you talk about your time here and what it meant to your progress as, in terms of getting to the Olympics, what are some of the thoughts that you have about the experiences that you had here and the coaches you worked with, the teammates you worked with, and how all of that kind of, you know, was part of the journey and getting you to your destination here in, in Rio. Um, I had really good coaching and coaches here, uh, which helped out a lot, a lot uh, helping me, you know, transition from high school track and field to the Missouri Valley Conference, which was like the hardest throwing conference ever I've ever been to. So that was like a huge shift and uh, just... Uh, competing and uh, teammates were great it was just very good and yeah, I enjoyed it Can you talk about the year you've had I mean I think you're ranked 15th uh, in the world right now and uh, you've set your personal best this year in addition to going to the Olympics you're 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 peaking at the right time and yeah you know just talk about the year you've had the preparation you put into that and you know how confident you are at this stage of the game uh, uh, yeah I'm peaking right now I actually just got through lifting so, uh, sorry for the sweat, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm actually starting a new four week cycle getting ready for the games. Um, I didn't really have too many overseas meets, so that kind of helped. I could actually stay and focus and train. Um, but, uh, like you said, I'm just peaking at the right time. Um, I don't know about it's it giving me, giving me a little bit of confidence, I guess, a little confidence boost going in. So how, how, how familiar are you with the, uh, with the conditions down in Rio and uh, what are you expecting down there in terms of both the experience of it and also as a thrower what what to expect out of you know what you're th where you're throwing at and all of that uh, how much do you know about that at this stage uh, they just told me it's their winter time so it's gonna be a lot cooler than here <laughs> so um, there's a training camp in uh, Texas it's gonna be warmer there so but uh, basically it showed us all the little uh, events or all the uh, Areas that we can practice in and all that stuff. Um, I guess the business, basically just have to go down there and find out what it's like. And I'll be down there for a couple, like a week or two before I compete. So it'll be nice. Obviously, you're thrilled to be going, but now that you're this close, what would it mean to, to be able to win, win a medal there? Uh, that's what you always shoot for, right? Me top three. So um, just basically want to go in there and uh, kind of take it like I did trials, go in there. Uh, make it through the qualifying and then get through that step and then try to make it into the finals because it's going to be very tough because those girls are very good. So. Can you talk about, I know you've been asked this already by, by media members, but the, the throw you had in Oregon to get you over the top, you know, you talk to athletes in a lot of sports and when they have that, that throw or that hit or that basket, you know, they feel like it when it came off their hands, they felt like it was going to be something special. Did you have that feeling when you made your... Uh, clinching throw out in Oregon? Um, yes and no. I felt like it was better than all my previous ones until I looked at it and I knew it was farther, so that's how I knew it was better. So When, when you saw it yeah. land, I mean, just talk about your emotions at that point. I know you went from, what, an eighth to first at that stage of the competition. Yeah. I mean, that had to be pretty incredible. Yeah, it felt good. But it kind of sucks because I was in eighth place, so I had to wait two rounds to make sure no one passed me. So that was very stressful. You so, talked about what this place has meant to you, Indiana State, to be the first American to qualify for the uh, track and field team. How special is it to, to re represent that and, and to make that history? Um, feels good because I know Greg Mar made it, and uh, you know he represented his country pretty well. And uh, I want to represent USA and uh, Indiana State, and also my high school. I know there's another girl, uh, Ashley Spencer. She's coming down with me, and we're pretty good friends. So got a good uh, support system down there too. 
What do you anticipate? What What are you building up in your mind in terms of what it's going to be like walking out there in the opening ceremonies and you know participating not only you know the culmination of, of your dream as an athlete, but also just taking in that experience that so you've probably seen on TV. And what are you anticipating that's going to be like? Um, probably taking lots of pictures. <laughs> um, just taking it all in. Uh, looking at everything. I went to the uh, University World Games back in like 2014 and they had like an opening ceremony and that was, they said it's like up there with the Olympics. So I've already had kind of an experience, but I know this one's going to be way over the top and I'm just going to take it all in. What's your schedule like the next couple of training and when do you leave to go? What, what's the schedule before you go to, to Rio like? Uh, I have to finish out this week and then next week uh, I leave next Friday, um, I think the what is it? 25th, I'm going to Texas for the training camp for a week, and then I'll come back home for three days, and then the second I'll fly out for Rio. I don't want to bring this on a downer, but are you worried at all about the Zika virus or anything like that? I know a lot of athletes have expressed concern about that. What's your feeling on that? No. <laughs> I mean, it, they just basically try to prepare us, you know, bring bug spray, wear long sleeves. I was like, if I go, I'm still going. I'm not going to skip out on the Olympics. This is, <laughs> it's a good problem to have. I yeah, so I'm not. I'm definitely going to go. Like the conditions, obviously playing in the valley, you're ready for any conditions. You proved that in Oregon last week, so you're not really not to jinx anything. We're not really worried about the conditions in Rio because you've kind of seen it all conditions wise thrown in the valley all, the, all these years at Drake and so on, right? Yeah, I just got to basically go out there and compete in any weather. So, that's that, I guess. Take this. Yeah.